guys my son is really growing up and i'm so proud of him I'm trying to talk quietly he don't even realize that i've walked away he might already know anyways for those of that don't know my son has the most horrible separation anxiety if me or at least somebody else is not in his eyesight he gets really angry upset and starts screaming until somebody comes and finds him baby i'm right here did y'all hear that angry scream oh that was... baby i'm right here son did y'all hear how the scream changed from livid and super furious to like a normal goat noise once he finally found me hey baby hey son i just snuck away a little to get a video of you eating your plants i was talking about how my boy's growing up so fast where did the time go? You were just my itty bitty who needed a bottle three times a day. But now you're out there, not out there with the littles per se, but you're just walking out and about on your own, finding plants to nibble on. You're just growing up. Just That's just my boy. It's my baby. He's growing up so fast. Where did the time go? This here is Hey Hey. I'm sure most of you know him. But there are some new viewers that join every once in a while. Every few videos, I get a couple new friends that join. So I want them to feel equally involved as those of us that have been here for three plus years. And also, there's some people that follow my page, but may not follow my fiance's page. It's called Made by Megan. We live here together at the sanctuary and we make videos of all the farm animals. And so this is her Polish chicken. Hey, hey, in case you didn't know, he interesting looking bird i tell you right look at that head <laughs> he's named after that bird hey hey from the moana the disney little movie and he's interesting all right he's a character i don't have a lot of videos of him on here but if you want to see videos of him and his crazy antics go follow made by megan with no spaces it's on uh, youtube and facebook that's my beautiful fiance's page this here is like a little it's like a bunch of sand in them. I know they take dust baths, the chickens do. It's good for getting mites and other insects out of, out of their feathers and it helps them cool off. So we gotta have them, as gross as it may look, a little dust bath area for them. <laughs> Baby, she were all growing up. Yeah, guys, uh, today, not quite as hot as previously was but it's still pretty hot we're today's tuesday so we're a little bit past the episode of excessive heat warning that was this past weekend saturday and sunday so we're thankful for that but we still have a ways to go we could use the rain we still got a little bit of grass left as you can see so hopefully we can ride this out until summer ends and until it starts raining more frequently but the hard part is for my dad i know at his property i feel awful for him he has a bunch of animals that rely on that grass and he's not getting any he's tried method after method after method but to no avail so i pray that you keep him in your prayers as well as us as far as the weather goes there's gunpowder hi gunpowder you know what else is one thing that I never thought I would see in a million years that I began seeing the past two summers because of how hot it is? Cats panting. Gunpowder's not panting right now, but those black cats, the hissy kitties, they, they pant like crazy every single day. We give them plenty of water and food and they have the whole entire world at their disposal to find shade. There's a bunch of fans going all over the place. So they're free to go wherever they want, but especially for them because they're black and I guess black absorbs heat, the color. There's just no escaping the heat to an extent for them. Do y'all hear Hero in the background? He's livid. He is so freaking mad. But now that he sees me, he calms down. Baby! Guys, y'all can hear how angry, you just hear the anger in his voice when... He doesn't see where I'm at. <laughs> Hopefully this here will re-fertilize the grass, kind of watering it a little bit, help promote growth. Oh, it's cold. Dang, 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 dang. That is cold. I'm coming around the other way, baby. 
He's spoiled rotten. Listen to him. <laughs> oh, you remind me of Journey Scream so much, son. Hey, come here, baby. Nope. Just ignoring me. Too busy playing with his plants. Yeah, look at him go. He's really nibbling. Really going to town on sticks, shrubs, anything he can find. Never thought it would come. Never thought it would happen. <laughs> Ooh, what else? Oh yeah, basketball. Last thing I can think about doing right now. It's about one o'clock in the afternoon. Boiling out here. Baby, I'm over here. You gotta kind of every so often call out where you're at so he knows how to find you. Baby! You got Imogene and Donkey Dan over there. Let's go hang out with them. Let's go see what they're up to. Imogene and Donkey Dan eating some grass, grazing. It's a good thing that I was able to get them to be able to go back and forth between the two pastures because the grass was running low over here when they were locked in here. I had them locked in here because we had a dog, Sadie, that needed them as companions because she wasn't getting along with the other animals very good and so it was great for Sadie but it kind of worked out to the donkey's detriment because they were only limited to whatever grass is right here and then as you can see it started getting kind of low but now that they've had the rest of you know the, the, the rest of the pasture to graze on the grass is kind of poor hero baby hero hero he is so loud. I don't know how such loud noises come out of such a tiny body. Baby! Baby! Any of y'all ever had a kid like this or a pet like this? Some kids have really bad separation anxiety. They cannot be separate from their mommy or daddy for even a second. Some are just spoiled rotten. Some are just needy and love the attention. I think that's Hero. He's fine. Hero, come on, baby. Come on, son. Let's go, buddy. There he comes. Come on, baby. Let's go. Now all's happy, all's well with the world for him. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. You're quite the character, buddy. You know that? You're something special. But I love you, though. I wouldn't change you for the world. My beautiful baby boy. Come on, Hero. Let's go see what the other animals are up to. Let's get some. Let's get some animal time. You get enough daddy and mommy time. Speaking of mommy, that over there under the canoe would be Hero's biological mother. In case y'all didn't know that, old mama. That's her name. Or as some people would call it. That right there is Hero's genetic predecessor. <laughs> she may have given birth to him, but Hero sees me as mommy now. Baby! He's very stubborn, as you can see. Oh, now here he comes. Good boy. Good boy! Look at you going so fast! So fast, son. Right when I say you're stubborn, you finally start cooperating. Look at you. Okay, let's go in here. Oh yeah, look at these shoes that my fiance got me. She always gets me the coolest shoes. This right here would be like some basketball shoes, basketball flip-flops, basketball slides. <laughs> All right, here, let's go. Let's go spend some time with the animals. Oh, Tilly. Is she or isn't she actually pregnant? Who knows? Who knows? Sometimes it's hard to tell. Sorry about that. I'm trying to close the gate, it's not easy with one hand. Hi, little ducks. You guys doing all right? 
on a super hot Tuesday. Yeah, that's what I would do if I was you. I'd go cool off in the pond. I may do it myself, heck. No, I don't want to do that. But you can see right here, guys, that it's getting so hot that the water level is lowering. The part where it's dark is where the water originally rested at naturally. But now it's starting to get lower and lower. And now it's all the way down to there. So we could use the rain. We don't want the pond to get too low. I know Papa always talks about how in 2011, that's the only summer that we've really had that's comparable to this one. In the summer of 2011, all the ponds were bone dry. Not an ounce of water. He had to sell most of his cows that year because we couldn't take care of them over here. And so it's better for them to go to a good place than for them to, I guess, overheat. 2011 was awful. And this summer is probably even worse. It may have been... At its peak, it might have been hotter in 2011, but it wasn't nearly as hot for this long back then. It was only hot for probably, I don't know the exact length of time, but I just know that we've had a really long dry spell. It's been hot for so, so long this summer. I don't know the exact dates. Papa and my dad could probably tell you better than I could because I was only 11 back then, so I wouldn't remember much. But in all the summers I remember, this one definitely feels the hottest. Good boy, Ringo. Here's our little donkey donks. Let's go hang out with them. Let's go hang out with our donkeys. Hey, Imogene. Hey, Dan. What are you guys up to, huh? Doing some grazing. Getting out in the hot sun. Hey, boy. Donkey Dan. You a good boy? You're a good boy. Old Donkey Dan has had quite the roller coaster of a ride living here at the sanctuary. Started out breaking through fences, trying to get to his females that he felt that he naturally belonged with. He essentially chose his own home in that sense. I think he broke the Uncle Riley's fence to try to come get with my dad's female donkeys. And so the fact that he went through that much effort and got himself all cut up on barbed wire fence and trying to do so was just a sign that, you know what, he's earned it. He deserves to stay here. And then going from Forrest, the old donkey's rage, being mean to the females, Donkey Dan instead deciding to jump in the middle of it, take the abuse from Forrest so that the ladies didn't have to from sneaking up on people in every single video, his stealthy stalking skills. You'll be making a video just recording anything and the next thing you know, he pops up right in your face, like super sneaky. I don't know how he does it. <laughs> from being a talker. Hi, everybody. My name's Donkey Dan. How are you guys today? I'm doing very well, even though it's so very hot. <laughs> something like that he's a special one donkey dan he's a character all right and then oh imogene the namesake of the sanctuary herself where do you even begin one of three hurricane harvey survivors dehydrated despite being surrounded by water literally dehydrated in the middle of a flood how does that happen it happens because donkeys only like fresh water. I don't think I don't know if they can handle salt water or not, or if they just are picky. But with all that salt water surrounding her that we were flooded in, she wouldn't drink it. We had to get her back to good health with fresh, fresh, <laughs> fresh water. And then from her peculiar and odd relationship with Pig Trudy, the pig from Mama Meg standing on her back. I thought that theory about her, about Meg surviving the flood, the flood waters were seven to eight feet high, mind you. So we have no idea how a goat possibly survived that. 
the going theory is that Meg was on top of Imogene's back during the duration of the flood. And I thought it was kind of far-fetched at first, but there really is no other explanation. And then after seeing the way Walter jumps on these donkeys back, you realize, you know what, maybe it is a little more plausible. Maybe it's a little more possible than I thought it was. <laughs> She's a good girl. They're good donkeys. Both great stories. Both amazing characters. The little skin on the back of their ear feels really funny. It's like stretchy. Like silly putty almost. <laughs> Does that bother you, Imogene? That I'm playing with your ears like that? I'm sorry. Old Hero hanging out with Ringo. That's interesting. Never thought I would see that. Maybe someday his horns will be that long. He should be a bigger goat because his genes, the goats in his family are humongous. Ringo's a little pygmy goat or whatever. So Hero should grow pretty dang big when it's all said and done. <laughs> Alrighty guys, well, with that said, I hope y'all enjoyed this video. I'm about to head inside, wrap this up. Y'all be sure to let me know in the comments what kind of stuff you guys want to see. Hope you all have an incredibly blessed day. And as I always say, your boy Ellie out.